Good afternoon and welcome to the third Chief Executive Briefing uh, here at AWP. Uh, first of all, I just wanted to say thank you very much for the feedback that we've had so far uh, in relation to the briefings. People have said they've found the discussion following them really, really helpful, so uh, keep that up, please. Uh, some people have said that maybe uh, I go on a bit too long, so what I'm going to do is be really pithy, and I've got three key themes today. So it's the three R's, it's around rostering, review, uh, and resilience. So if we start off with uh, rostering, uh, many staff have raised some concerns about our rostering system. Uh, some people feel that it's taken away flexibility and has disrupted their work-life balance. Uh, some people have felt that it's really fair and has improved their, their, their uh, rosters. But whatever, we've got to make sure that we get a balance uh, between what you would expect as employees and what we would expect as a trust. Uh, and the balance that we've got to strike is to ensure that there is enough flexibility for you to uh, enjoy the job that you're doing. And we've got to make sure that we've got sufficient numbers of staff in the right place when they're most needed to provide the service that we're expected uh, to do. So we do need to find a balance and it would seem from what people have said we haven't quite found the balance in terms of that tool. So we're working with all ward managers and we're working with our locality management teams to make sure that we use the tool in a way that best meets those needs, i.e. the flexibility and work-life balance that you should expect and to ensure that we have a, a service that is effective and efficient and we're able to respond to the needs of people. So we'll be carrying out this, the review of the next uh, several weeks and I'd really encourage you to feed back to the directors that are in the room that you may be in at the moment, uh, raise questions, make comments and help us to make sure that we get that balance that uh, I was just uh, talking about. The second R is in relation to review. So it's that time of year where uh, the NHS carries out uh, a survey of all of its staff. So over the next few weeks there will be questionnaires that will come from an independent organisation. They're completely confidential and they will be addressed to you as individuals. And I'd like to encourage everyone to complete the staff survey. Not least because it gives us an opportunity as a trust to respond to some of the things you've said. So for instance, if I look back to last year, the themes that came out and the things we've done relate to bullying and harassment and the work that we've uh, completed to understand that better and tackle any of the difficulties we've got around supervision and appraisal and I hope you feel that you are getting greater supervision and more appropriate appraisals than perhaps you had in the past. Um, around uh, investment in leadership and management, some of the feedback we had last year was that uh, our, our managers were underdeveloped so we've invested uh, heavily in the last year to support the development of our leaders uh, and managers. Team-based working to support each of your teams to develop and to, to complete the, the uh, job that's expected of you. And then recruitment. Uh, last year there were concerns about numbers of staff in some area and that remains challenging uh, for this year. But we'll continue on that drive. So now we come to the third and final R which is resilience. So we're about to enter the winter uh, and we really want to encourage all of our staff to have their flu vaccinations to keep us all as fit as possible through the winter period. So to make it much easier than we've done in the past, we've got 50% more clinics than we had last year. The vaccinations are free, so it, I, again, would really encourage people to uh, take us up on the opportunity. There's a new booking line open, which and the number is uh, on the screen. And you can simply drop into a clinic nearby or pre-book to make the disruption to work as minimal as possible. Uh, but to keep our staff, or all of us, as healthy as we can through the winter, I would really encourage you to seek and have a flu vaccination. So that's the end of uh, this month's briefing. Thank you very much for listening and thank you for all that you do.